Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? What's going on, y'all? Salute to everybody that subscribed to the channel, man. Listen, K Shine, I just watched a video, K Shine on my expert opinion. Wow, wow, I was not expecting that. Salute, Math Hoffa. Wow, you, 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 you dibbling back into the battle rap. I like that. I like that. You changing some things up. If you have not seen my blog that I did about my expert opinion and what I believe was the domino effect of the podcast being totally messed up from SO, Heineken, Bigger, all those guys leaving. Check that out. It's doing incredible numbers. It's a lot of dialogue in the comment section. Make sure you guys check that out. But yo, K Sean, man. Every time I see an interview from K Sean after I watch the interview, I'm like, I still don't have answers. Just for me personally, I don't know how you guys feel, but like, I love that I get to see K Sean. I want to see Kayshawn on the stage. I want to see him battle. But it's like, bro, every time he gets in front of the fucking camera, he don't really, like, spill the tea. When I say spill the tea, but, like, nigga, tell us something. Like, you you keep repeating the same shit that we already know. Now, when the, when, when the interview starts or the conversation starts, I hear him talking about betrayal and loyalty. And I didn't know who he was talking about. And then DNA's name came up. You know, first of all, I want to say my condolences to DNA. You know, he lost his mother. You know, deepest, deepest condolences to you and your family. My prayers is with you. You know what I'm saying? But um, I was just like, damn, bro. I know this was, you know, shot probably a while ago or maybe a couple weeks ago or whatever the case may be. I'm pretty sure it wasn't shot like yesterday. But just sidebar, like the news breaking, you know, with DNA's mom. I just think that's just... It's a little bit tasteful. I would have like kind of waited maybe a couple days. Like the man just lost his mom and you got in the headlines of the video betrayal. And I don't know if DNA's name is in there, but I don't know. I, I just, that that rubbed me a little bit the wrong way, man. But shout out to DNA once again, my condolences. But Kayshawn is talking about betrayal. He felt betrayed from DNA. He felt DNA probably should have stood more by his side. He talked about how you know, the two on twos, how DNA and K Sean brought two on twos first to URL and they downplayed it. They said, Man, we don't do that shit. And so they took it on the road and really branded it and got it popping. And now URL is doing double impacts and things of this nature and really championing the two on twos. I remember hearing rumblings about that. So I definitely give, you know, guys like K Sean, DNA, Marv One, Quest McCody, you know, those were the early, earlier guys that I remember that were first to do the two on two battles. Um, he also, you know, starts talking about, you know, Smack and Beasley, how there's a conflict. It's not promoter versus artist. It's label versus artist. How URL is treating the company as like a label. Listen, bro, <laughs> this, this is not a popcorn bubblegum league, bro. This is the URL. They are a corporation. Yes, they're running this shit like a business. They're not promoters. They are businessmen. And that's they're going to do whatever they can do that's in the best interest of the company and the brand. Now, I do see them still take care of certain battlers, look out for them, give them extra money for a deposit. I've heard testimonies of this, paying certain bills, bailing certain battlers out of jail, looking out countless, countless of times, you know, and like I, I understand the frustration of Sean, but it's just like it just doesn't make sense to me. Now, he also alluded that URL was contacting T-Rex to try to get k Sean, you know, to, to talk to them. You know, Rex is sending, he said Rex is sending him screenshots. I guess he didn't believe Rex. He thought Rex was trying to set him up just to get him to talk to URL. And Rex is showing him screenshots of him having conversations saying that URL wants to work it out. They basically told, this is what URL said. They said, scratch off the Jack Boy main in the daylight battle. Screw it. Let's just dub it, erase it, it's done. We want to give you a new situation. So there's, there's still, even after the public disrespect, the SMD from Kayshawn, smack F your birthday, F all them, like, dog, he violated. He violated. I think Kayshawn violated worse than easy to block, Captain. You know what I'm saying? And URL still wants to do business with Kayshawn. They don't want to let him go. So there's something going on there, bro. Either you are still in legally contracted to them 
Or, I don't know, you may be playing tug of war to try to really get as much you can out of them. I don't know. But you're saying you don't want to battle. You don't want to be on the league. You don't want to do any business. They're trying to compromise. They're saying, forget the Jack Boy in a daylight battle. They want to offer you a new situation. I'm wondering, what is the situation? Is it a multiple battle deal? You know, like you did before? Is it more money? Like, I don't know. But you pretty much would just want out of the situation. And URL is not trying to let you go. I think they understand if you were to leave, you would go and dominate on RBE and Chrome 23, their rivals. And they're not trying to do anything to help their rivals. So you're kind of caught in the middle here. And I feel like the longer you stall and the longer you wait, you're not going to be able to battle. And I feel like if you do battle, you're going to breach that contract and things are going to get very bad for whoever books the battle. Unless you pull an easy to block captain and do your own card. I do. I, I can see that happening. I can see certain people in the culture helping you as far as, you know, orchestrating and putting that together. Because I think you can do it. You'll have the help. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, Rex will look out, certain battlers will look out and probably do a card for little foot or nothing just to get you the exposure and, you know, and get you, you know, get you moving off your feet. But I don't know, man. It's like they're kind of what I took from this clip, because I'm it's going to be a full interview. But from what I took from this is Kayshawn is still in a contract with URL, regardless of what all he said, the rants and everything. You're still in contract with the URL and the URL is not trying to let you go. They don't want money. They want the battles. They want you to resign. They want you to stay on URL. And I don't know what it's going to take. Basically, well, I do know what it's going to take. You're going to just have to fulfill that obligation. That's just it, bro. Renegotiate. Put some terms in there where you can battle on other leagues. I don't know. I don't know. You're going to have to do something, bro, because you keep going on this, these different tours and going on these different platforms, and you're not even like, you're not elaborating exactly what is the conflict. What is the issue? Why did you sign those multiple battle deals? And why is URL offering you another deal if you're not still in contract? Why are they telling you to scratch off those other battles and let's just renegotiate? Let's do something else. Like why? Those are the type of answers I hope or questions. I hope that's being asked. Pardon me. I hope those questions are being asked in the next couple of episodes that do come out or clips per se. But I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think about Kayshawn, man. I'm telling you, man, every time I see Kayshawn in an interview, like I'm I'm just frustrated, bro. It's frustrating as fuck. Because it's like it don't make no sense. Like, dog, if you just owe one battle, two battles, just do the battles and go on about your business. You could have did summer madness. You could have did a civil war, a ban. You could have did any one of them motherfuckers, and, and you would have been out. But I get it. You standing on business. You standing on principle. You standing on your morals, and you feel like you've been done wrong. You felt like you've fulfilled your obligations, and URL should let you go. But I don't know, man. I'm very curious to see the rest of this interview. Hopefully, we'll get more detail of what the hell happened, why he made certain decisions that he made. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Do you think you think it's true that URL wants to sign Kayshawn back even after all the disrespect? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on all social media platforms at Aces Working on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, all that good stuff. And be on the lookout. My website is coming. Yes, Dedication TV. I got merch. I got everything, man. I'm going to have a whole one-stop shop for you guys can get everything. The podcast, the YouTube. I'm going to have certain conversations with different entrepreneurs, people in the battle rap community. I have a lot of dope shit coming to the platform. So stay tuned. I appreciate everybody that supports, that reaches out, that gives me good gems to help out with the platform. All that. It's all appreciated. Much love. It's your boy, Cito. I'm out of here. Peace.